so difficult to set up a camera and lights and everything. It's just, I've never known, you know? I've never thought it, it was this difficult to set up a camera in front of you so it can film you and record you. And it's also very weird. Cause yeah, I'm basically talking to myself right now cause there's no one around. So yeah. But anyway, what did I want to talk about today? Let's think for a moment. Oh yeah, why anyone could benefit from starting their own YouTube channel. That was my idea. Well, it's not a unique idea. There's a lot of videos out there who talk about that. I still wanted to do this video because I feel like it's really a deep question. Like everyone, or at least everyone with a channel, ask themselves at some point we're like why why do i even do this i don't know i am well today i'm gonna give you some compelling reasons why you should start a youtube channel and why it is a great idea not for everyone just for some but maybe you are part of that some or maybe you're not i have no idea man it's so difficult to talk english all the time let's start from the beginning Hey guys, in today's video I wanted to show you some compelling reasons why everyone can benefit from starting their own YouTube channel. Doesn't that sound trained and recorded and written and scripted and everything? It does, well... <laughs> Dang. No, for real, starting a YouTube channel is something everybody could benefit from, like really. There are some basic skills and some basic insights that everyone can just learn and achieve by by doing this and uh yeah here are some like what would be the first thing that comes to mind of course it's courage one has to have the guts to start a youtube channel putting yourself out there really takes courage i mean it's kind of terrifying and frightening and thrilling at the same time so that's quite a salad like what i'm doing right now i'm putting myself on camera which is Technically, just exposing a part of myself, a part of my emotions, a part of my opinions, and that can be weird. But where there's fear, there's also place to grow. So, like so many things in life, I guess it comes down to perspective. Like, are you willing to take a step into the unknown? Just throw yourself out there and see what happens or maybe you just want to go in a completely different direction and that's okay. In the end it's entirely up to you but do remember that the choices you take will shape your path. So choose wisely. Well I mean, what is wisdom anyway? You just know it after you tried it so yeah. We just have to try different things then and maybe you will come out wiser in the end. Hopefully. Let's say you decide to go for it and start that YouTube channel you've dreamed about your whole life or just came up with five minutes ago. Starting your own YouTube channel means experimenting with tons of new skills. But without the pressure of performing for anyone else really, you're creating for yourself and that is really important. When you create something for yourself, you put your heart into it and whatever comes of it, it's a step on your journey that's completely worth taking. From recording to editing to storytelling, you can start exactly where you are and just go from there. That's the beauty of creation. Making videos is an art form like painting or composing music or sculpting or anything really. It's very versatile really and you can do with it whatever you want. Well, and of course, there's one skill that you can practice a lot and you can get better, but you can also not improve like me, which is talking to the camera, which I'm doing right now, which is very weird once again. Well, the good part is at least I have infinite takes, so no matter how many hundred or thousand times I fail to say a word right or just break up a sentence in the middle of it, I can do it again. And again, and again, and again, and again. But another interesting thing about talking to the camera is that it can be very therapeutic. I mean, you just talk and talk and talk and at some point you notice that you're actually talking to yourself. So the question that came up is, what are you actually telling yourself? Do you believe in the stuff you're talking about? Or are you just saying stuff for the sake of it being said? Well, anyway, back to the topic. 
Once you start recording and uploading, what you're actually doing is creating a digital library of your life, essentially. Because each video captures a moment in time, a milestone in your skills or a new stage in a hobby. Years down the line, you can see exactly how you spoke, how you thought, how you reacted, and that can be pretty rewarding. Not just for the nostalgia, but it also gives you a chance to reflect on your growth. I mean, if you grew. I hope you did. And I did. I hope everybody does, because if not, that would be just... That's just a sad idea. Maybe nobody ever grows and we're just stuck and the process of growth is maybe just an illusion. Oh man, I hope not. But maybe it is. Oh, damn, now I'm kind of depressed. Well, anyway, progress in life can sometimes be painfully slow. And you probably know what I mean. And when you don't feel like you're advancing or growing, you maybe start to question everything and maybe get desperate or stuff like that. But here comes the good thing. When you watch your videos from maybe weeks or months or even years ago, you're gonna see a difference. And then you'll be like, wait, that's me? How was I that stupid? And those moments truly show you how far you've come. Well, as I mentioned before, creating a YouTube channel can be a very powerful creative outlet. It's essentially a space where you can be different from how you usually are. Maybe some things you like or you do don't really fit into your everyday life. So YouTube becomes this giant playground where you can experiment with yourself and do exactly those stuff of things of kinds of things of things of kinds. <laughs> and since you're not worried about viewers or subscribers or comments or anything because why should you be because that's stupid and nobody should be because that's just... You can be silly, you can experiment things, you can do whatever your heart desires. Truly one question I often ask myself is what do I want to create? What kind of videos I want to do? And a lot of people I've watched answered this question with whatever they would like to see. Which is a good answer, but it's honestly not really my answer. Because I thought long and hard about this and I came up with something pretty similar, but it has a different nuance and that for me is very important. I just create what I feel I have to do right then and there. It's like I go deep into myself and ask myself what do I want to create? What do I want to record? What do I want to share? And then usually something comes up. Yeah, maybe maybe that looks weird. It's, it's not like throwing up. It's just more like, you know, bubbling up. Well, creation viewed like this can be a really powerful tool to self-discovery. I mean, the things that come up from inside yourself, it's just, it's just weird. Because you usually don't take your time to see them, to feel them. And this is an area where the things that we hid deep inside ourselves that we snuffed out down there somewhere and if we see creation like this then they get to to come out yeah this is this is way better than that whether that's a fresh idea an old memory or something we've buried deep down for a long time with this approach writing scripts editing or recording videos can become a healing process and some would even say a way to reconnect with yourself on a deeper level. Well, damn, that sounds smart, right? <laughs> oh, here's another thought. You should start your YouTube channel like you should start everything in life. And I mean everything, be it a job, a relationship, a new skill, with zero expectations. That is so important because expectations will only lead you to disappointment. And I know it can be difficult because we like to expect things. It's like we take things for granted and other things we just expect because that's how we were thought to, to think. But just, just don't do it. Don't, don't ever expect anything. I mean, please don't do it. Because if you're living with expectations, you're actually creating a path for yourself that is paved with 
with these traps. Because listen, like I create a YouTube channel and of course I want it to be successful. I want to get millions of subscribers and millions of views and everyone just gonna be like, yay, I know you and you're so great. And you're just doing the best videos ever and I love watching you and I'm watching you with my son and my dog and my neighbor and we're all watching your videos and we're just cheering you on like, Let's go, you can do this and you inspired my grandnephew to become this great scientist or athlete or whatever. Well, just just don't because that's probably not gonna happen. I know it sounds sad, but just it's just probably not gonna happen and you're just gonna be like, yeah, but I, I wanted it to be that way. Why, why can't it be like that? And bam. There's where you fell into the trap. That's where you're gonna be very, very disappointed and where you're just gonna, just gonna start crying and during the midlife crisis or the early midlife crisis or the late life crisis or any crisis whatsoever. And coming back from there, that's, that's um, hard, but necessary. Yeah, and all these things also apply to relationships. That's also a place where, where we, tend to make these mistakes like I expect you to maybe do the dishes or I expect you to be home on that time and or I expect you to to clean after yourself. I know some of those might sound basic, but if not communicated in the right way with your partner can lead to a lot of struggle. Just so you know. So actually the healthy approach to starting a new YouTube channel and being like, okay, I'm just gonna create my videos and I'm just gonna be playful about it. And you can also, and listen carefully to this, you can also allow you to be proud of them, okay? So even if you create the... the most different... You just do everything wrong, let's say it like that. But there is no wrong and right, it's just it's just so you get the idea, okay? So you just created this one video where it's nothing special, it's just, I don't know, you playing Minecraft or you mopping the floor or whatever. I know it sounds ridiculous and stupid, but you can allow yourself to be proud of it. And not that kind of proud in like, Oh, I'm so proud because I did this and it's so cool. No, you've just created something. I mean, you took your time, you gave it your thoughts, you took your camera or whatever and just started recording something and then maybe edited it a little and then uploaded it. You chose a title, you maybe chose a thumbnail, even if all those are nothing, like maybe they don't even will get a view or it doesn't matter. It's just you did something and you learn something new in the process and you can be proud of that like you can allow yourself to feel good about that and that's that's a rather playful approach to something that can lead to a lot of disappointment can also lead to a lot of new skills and to just advance in life and in the way we think about things because really it's again just perspective it really is yeah, but I know that's difficult because really our brain kind of is into this BDSM mental thing because when we create something and we're not really proud of it or even if it's something super great, our brain usually is like, what kind of trash have you created? Are you like mental or anything? Pooh! How could I ever let you feel grateful for that? Like, imagine if I rewarded you for that kind of poo! Oh man. Learning to laugh at the imperfections and to value our messy attempts, that's a very powerful skill. That's gonna impact your whole life and that's gonna change the way you approach things. And that is huge! It's like huge! It's really, it is huge! Progress over perfection every time. Another life-changing skill that you can learn through YouTube, but you can also learn through exercise or work or anything really, it's self-discipline. Seriously, just imagine for one moment 
how many dreams died because somebody gave up on them. Like, self-discipline is the tool that can move mountains and reshape completely what you are, how you think, how you react, everything. Self-discipline will help you create habits and essentially we are what we repeatedly do. Oh, here's a tough one. Ask yourself this. What do you want to be and what are you doing to achieve that? Oh man, that's, that's a tough question, I know. It can be very painful because it makes you face reality. Like maybe you want to have this, this great YouTube channel where you post whatever. Are you really investing the time to do that? Are you searching for new ideas? Are you working on your editing skills and everything? And it's just, it's just frustrating to, to think about that because one, we have dreams and second is self-discipline because self-discipline and some other skills, but self-discipline is a, a big part of that can turn your dreams into reality. Like that's that's the power of self-discipline. It can just take something that doesn't exist anywhere except for here and turn it into real. Like right here, you can put your hand on it. That's like, that's like next level wizardry. Like, like that's magic. Like just, just imagine, man, I, what the, f I'm dreaming about something and then it just comes out like this and then it exists. Yeah. That's self-discipline. That's what self-discipline can do. You want the killer body? Bam! Self-discipline. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take diet, exercise. But then, boom! It's gonna be there. You want the killer YouTube channel? Holy! You just gotta invest the hours, learn the ways of YouTube, and then, bah! It's gonna be there. Self-discipline. Well, also also luck. It's, it's a lot luck and genetics and everything, but... You know, no, those are excuses. As some purple guy once said, reality is often disappointing. When you create a routine in the YouTube domain of posting regularly, you're training your self-discipline muscle. And this is just gonna spill over into your other domains of life. Like once you have self-discipline into one domain, it's way easier to duplicate that into another thing. Like, you post regularly on YouTube, okay, now you can maybe go to the gym constantly. Okay, then maybe you want to learn an instrument and you can start playing piano or guitar or anything, or you just want to learn a new language, then you can do a new language every once or twice in a day, a week or whatever. Whatever your schedule may be, you just keep to it. You want to post once a week, you post once a week, no matter what. You want to go to the gym three times a week, you just go to the gym three times a week, no matter what. I mean, of course, if you're, you know, just sick or, I don't know, just don't feel like it or, I don't know, Christmas is coming or you have to buy some gifts and then you maybe can skip once or twice the training or... No, that is not self-discipline. I know it's difficult, but just try to do it. Well, anyway, once you do this, you discover a new part of yourself. Like when you post regularly on YouTube, you're just gonna discover this new identity of yourself. The, I'm a YouTube creator, I create videos, and you're just gonna identify with that and it's gonna help you grow even further. And of course, there is another very important skill, but this skill comes together with uh, self-discipline, honestly. And this is resilience. I mean, you can, you can look at it like that. If self-discipline is taking the next step, then resilience is taking the next step no matter what. I mean, you're gonna take the next step no matter if it's raining outside, if it's thunderstorming outside, if it's snowstorming outside, life will come and bah, just kick you in the guts. Oh, well, this is not a kick, this is a punch. It's gonna punch you in the face. Is punching in the face better or kicking in the guts? Oh, I, I think both are pretty bad, but well, if I had to choose, I don't know, write in the comments what's better, a punch in the face or a kick in the guts. Ah, well, it's, that's a little stupid, but just, just do it because it's interesting to know, right? What was I talking, what was I, what was I talking about? Ah, yeah, resilience. I mean, no matter if life comes and bam, punches you or kicks you in the guts, you have to stand up again. 
That's resilience. You have to stand up and then do the next step. Next step, self-discipline. Life comes, bam! You stand back up, resilience. And translate to YouTube, this might mean that you're creating a video and you really like that video. It's like, this thing is, is good. You can feel it. It just, just came out of your deepest, deepest imagination. And it's, it's wonderful and you just love it. You post it, guess what? No one cares. You get zero comments, you get five likes. No, that's too much. You get five views, you get one like from your mom. Maybe not even her, maybe you get one like from yourself. Yeah, that, that's about right. And then you're gonna be like, yeah. Uh, sorry, there was the phone, uh, never mind that. You create this one video, okay? And nobody's watching it and you're sad. Of course, you, you feel like you're not appreciated and you just wanna give up. And that's the punch, remember? Like that's, that's YouTube just punching you. The good thing is that doesn't matter because once again, you're not creating for anybody else. You're not creating for the fame. You're not creating for the money. And it's this is important. Like, I know it sounds like, hey, of course, I'm not doing that. But deep inside, back in your head, you're like, yeah, I, I'm doing it exactly for that. No, 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 man. You just got to go deep inside there and just check out your boxes. Because if you're doing it for the uh, wrong reasons, it's just going to take a toll onto your mental health which is not recommended because you're exposing yourself to to this expecting perspective and if it's not fulfilled then you get hurt and you get hurt deeply because these are a lot of things that are very important to us like being recognized by others or getting attention i know getting attention is very badly viewed but it's something so essential i mean we as humans we we depend on attention because when you were little you were just a baby and if you didn't get attention from your parents you probably would have died and that's why attention is so deeply ingrained into our mental processes you need people to pay attention to your to you so you can survive and this thing that you got when you were little a little boy girl horse whatever you were that's just not gonna disappear after you grow up that's gonna stick with you and this is one outlet where this kind of mental process is reflected okay so one way to go about this is you create for yourself you create for the experience you create to express something that's inside yourself so you don't care about how viewed your videos are and anything and that's just gonna take so much pressure out of it. And that's gonna allow you to become resilient. Because you make a video, nobody likes it. And you can just continue doing your stuff. Because it doesn't matter if nobody likes it. Because you like it. And that's what matters. If you like it, you continue. And if you do it like this, there's another side effect that's very beautiful. And that's actually the thing that wraps everything up. Because if you have the right motivation, and that's, that's a key factor once again. If you have the right motivation, then your creative process can be very fulfilling and very beautiful. If you do it for different reasons, then your whole creative process will be weighted down. It's gonna be like, you want to do something, but there's a lot of pressure and stress from every direction. You're like, oh no, it's not gonna be good enough. It's not gonna be that, it's not gonna be here. And it's just gonna weigh you down until your whole creative process gets blocked on ice. But if it's not like that, and that's what I hope, and if it is like that, you can train it. Like that's something you can, you can change about yourself. We can change. I know, I know sounds weird, sounds what the, we, we can, I can change? Yes, 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 yes. We all can change if we want, if we want, that's, important we create something out of this creative process that's free of pressure imagine what happens you're gonna start feeling joy you're gonna start feeling a joy that's so outlandish at least for me it was you just start creating something you just start talking you just start acting or whatever you do and you feel this this connection you just feel like oh man i can be myself i can do stupid things i can 
I can say what I like, I can say what I want, I can, I can just, it can just be. I can just be. And that made me feel a childlike joy that was so, so deeply hidden away. Like I haven't felt it in a long time. I, I can't really put it into words exactly, but it was just something that I think is essential, that I think everybody of us has. But in a lot of people, it's so compressed and hidden away. And if you take that joy out of our life, what, what will remain? What is there to live for and live with? Oh, crazy, man. So to wrap it all up, making YouTube channel isn't just about posting videos. It's a creative process of rediscovering yourself, of reconnecting with your inner self, maybe even your inner child, maybe whatever is inside you. And if you create this free perspective, a perspective from which you can create and then grow with it, YouTube can be so much more. Besides from this, you're training your self-discipline, you're cultivating resilience, and maybe you even discover the childlike joy in the art of creation itself. And whether you gain a thousand subscribers or none, it doesn't matter, because it's for you. You did this for yourself. And when you do this for yourself, you unlock a kind of freedom that's very hard to come by in any other area. You get to be silly, you get to make mistakes, and you can grow with the process. Really, it's like giving yourself permission to play and just see how far you can go. So go ahead, post that first video, even if it's silly or cringy or you think bad, it's just embrace the mess, laugh at the imperfection, and most importantly, keep going. Self-discipline, remember? Because at the end of the day, this isn't just YouTube. It's a journey of becoming, of expressing, and learning to love every imperfect part of your creation. And who knows, maybe someday you will look back on it and think, wow, that was the best decision I ever made.